Managing and adding warehouses is easy in our updated software. To access your warehouses, click on the drop-down bar that says Inventory. You'll see a tab labeled Warehouses. Let's explore Manage Warehouses. You can find all of your warehouses listed with information in the grid. To find a warehouse, filter by the desired criteria. You can search by ID, name, type, the date of creation, or whether it's sellable. You can add one or multiple warehouses. Warehouses can be made sellable or non-sellable. A sellable warehouse has inventory available for purchase, so long as the inventory selling criteria is met. An unsellable warehouse has inventory that is unavailable for sale. A warehouse for returned items can be marked as unsellable. This allows stock to be checked before returning to your inventory. You can move your inventory between warehouses and even ship via FBA. Let's add a new warehouse. Click the blue button at the bottom and choose Add Warehouse. The Warehouse Creation page lets you fill out everything you need to about your warehouse. Enter the name of your warehouse. Seller Cloud offers various warehouse types to suit your needs. You can click on the arrow to the right of Warehouse Type. This reveals a drop-down menu. You can choose Normal, Dropship, FBA, or Interim. Normal is the most common type of warehouse where items are stored in an in-house facility. A dropship warehouse is used for vendor feeds. Inventory in these warehouses will not be calculated for average cost. FBA warehouses are where products are stored, picked, packed, and shipped by Amazon. Interim warehouses show inventory that is in transit between other warehouses. This lets Seller Cloud track your inventory between one warehouse and another. Once your inventory reaches its destination, your inventory will automatically transfer to the new warehouse and out of the interim. Here, your warehouse team can handle storing, organizing, picking, packing, labeling, and shipping your order. They can also handle order returns. Determine if this warehouse is sellable or unsellable. Unsellable inventory will always be included in your physical quantity. However, it will not appear in your sellable or aggregate quantity. Sellable stock will be counted in the aggregate quantity and used for order fulfillment. You also can make a warehouse your default warehouse, allow access to FBA shipments, or indicate inventory is managed by BIN. Now that you've filled out your general information, click on the blue arrow button at the top of the information window and fill in your warehouse's name and address. To make sure the address is correct, click the icon on the right side of the green bar. This lets you validate the address. Once you're done, click on the green flag icon. Your new warehouse will appear in the grid. To edit or update your new or old warehouses, simply click on your chosen warehouse. Click on the pencil icon in the right corner of the general information window. This lets you update the name, type, and change or choose new settings for your warehouse. Click the check mark in the top to save your changes. And you're all set. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to receive the latest updates and information. Contact us today to speak to a representative.